Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Deb C, and place to be, it's Deb C. Bloop, bloop, a Saturday edition! That's me, Deb C, boop. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Oh my gosh, the sun is out, it is Saturday, it is a little too warm for my bus nest, for my liking. <laughs> but, um, hey, listen, it is the weekend. Woo, woo, this year is this year is flying by. We're almost at the end of September. Listen, listen, Linda. A couple nights ago on Thursday, I watched part of Bachelor in Paradise. I finished watching the rest of it this morning. We are going to talk about Bachelor in Paradise. Listen, I have to say thank you once again. Thank you so very much to the Raleigh family because they're the ones who got me into watching this. Thank you so very much because Bachelor in Paradise is quickly becoming a, one of my favorite watches of the year. It is just such messy, messy drama and tea, and I love it. So let's get into it. Bachelor in Paradise. First of all, uh, there's going to be some cussing in this because I want to give a big middle finger and a big fuck you to the producers because really flash dance you have to be using you have to be ripping on flap da flap dance flash dance flash dance if you didn't know from the 80s i love that movie it was filmed in pittsburgh if you didn't know and now you know but listen i love that song but i hated that they ripped that off okay they highlighted a couple people a few people that are going to be on there. First of all, let's see. Rachel Recchia, you know, she was from Clayton season. She was one of the co-bachelorettes a couple seasons ago. I'm getting tired of her. This is her third time. I'm going to say right now, I feel like you should have three tries. And then if you don't get it, then you don't come back. That's it. So she's already kind of macking on Brayden. Brayden's going to be there. from We know from charity season. He got his dream catchers on. He's already with his multiple fedoras and probably some scarves. Next up, Kylie, Zach's season. She was sent home on video chat. Kylie is the hot commodity amongst the women um, heading into paradise. Listen, everybody wants to get with her. Will, um, Aaron B., Brayden, everybody wants to get with Kyle with Kylie. Then there's Aaron B from Cherry Season. Um, I gotta say, he has dropped a little bit. He's 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 toned up a little bit. He's interested also in in Kylie, but he mentions he's interested in Mercedes. Mercedes is gonna be there. She's from Zach's season. Um, she brought the pig on that season. Then there's Ken. Oh, I mean, Sean. Listen, he keeps referring to himself as a Ken doll. And then they put, the producers do him real dirty because they put um, asterisks does not look like a Ken doll. Um, he's kind of shallow. He goes through his like beauty regime, um, his regimen. He, he rubs beef tallow on his skin. So, okay. Jess G., Makes the whole place glitter. She is from Zach season. I liked, I liked Jess G. I liked her a lot. She's gonna be there. Will from Michelle's season. At listen, he wants to either get with Kylie, Olivia, or Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn's there. She's from Zach's season. I'm gonna tell you what. There should be a drinking game that you drink every time she references the fact that she said lace that bitch up or uses the word lace. I need her to stop it because it gets real annoying real quick. Brooklyn hates Kat. Guess who's there? Kat. Kat's there. She's from um, Zach's season. She lives in Florida. She hates the beach. So she's going to Bachelor in Paradise. Awesome. Um. Okay, I'm back. Um. I just had to take a call. Dolly was calling. She had to give me a report on the new Aldi's um, that opened up near us. So, um, Kat's there. Also, Blake Moines. Listen, Blake Moines again. This is the third time he's been on here. So, he this needs to be his last time. 
He, of course, you know, he was engaged to Katie Thurston. He was on uh, Tasha's season. He was on Claire's season. Cla Does everybody remember Claire? He was on, she was on Claire's, he was on Claire's season. Um, uh, let me tell you, it's, I think it's pretty awesome he works in animal conservation, but glow up, because this man had a glow up. Okay, so everybody's getting to the beach. First person on the beach is Rachel. I don't know, I don't understand why Rachel is like so baffled by the fact that she's the first one down there. What do I need to do? Like, what should I do? What does that mean that I'm the first one there? It's, you're the first one there. That's it. I, I just, I'm going to tell you, I don't know that I'm going to like Rachel this season. And I was a fan of Rachel. I don't know if I'm going to like her. Um, Aaron B, Aaron B is the second one there. Then we, um, get Brooklyn. Brooklyn shows up and she's like, yeah, I was on, I was on a season with Charity. I was her best friend. She told me about you, Aaron. Aaron's like, fucking hell. So, then we have Kat. Not Kat with a K, but Kat. You remember, my name's Kat. She was always having to pretend like she's a cat. Um, Sean slash Ken slash the um, princess. He looks more like the prince from Shrek than, than Ken. I swear to God. He shows up wearing a cardigan. And who calls him out? I think Kat, I think somebody, somebody calls him out. I was like, dude, why do you have that card on? He's like, I'm going to take this cardi off. Yeah. Kat's a little interested. Kat with a K is interested. Um, Will shows up and absolutely nobody knows who he is. Like Sean or Aaron or like, who's that guy? And then Aaron is like, oh, that's right. Your jacket guy. <laughs> You're your jacket guy. Listen, he wants to be called something else. I'm just going to always think of him as jacket guy. Um, everybody's wondering, when is Kylie going to get here? When is Kylie going to get here? Kylie, who is, who is totally in the beginning, was saying, I really am here for Avon. Avon liked some of my pictures on Instagram. He sent me a fire emoji. I'm here for Avon. Avon, 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 Avon. Here comes Kylie. Um, she talks to Aaron B. And she talks to um, Will. She had more of a connection, it looked like, with Will. So, Sean and Aaron are both like, oh, shit. I hope Brayden doesn't come down these steps. Let's bring on Brayden. Brayden and his fedora and his ridiculously long, you know, wind catcher, dream catcher earrings comes down the steps. Oh, immediately starts talking to like Kylie, Rachel, and Kat. Um, pulls Kylie aside for a one-on-one. -on -one. Aaron is not too happy about that. Aaron's like, sees up to his old antics. He comes down the steps, immediately pulls a woman, doesn't even talk to um, the men. Now listen, I don't, I'm not a fan of Braden's. However, maybe you're a little jealous. I don't know. I'm just saying. So he walks over, they're talking, Kylie and Braden. Aaron walks over and says, oh, hey, welcome to paradise. And, you know, it's awkward. It's weird. Um, next up, we have, we have a bunch of people coming down steps. Some ladies, some gentlemen. Eliza from Clayton season. This is the second season for her in Paradise. Last season, you remember, she was in a love triangle with Rodney and Justin. And it didn't work out with anybody. Um, Greer from Zach's season. Sean says he likes her. He thinks she's beautiful. Mercedes from Zach's season. Ernest, charity season. And Pilot Pete, Pilot Pete from Charity Season. Remember he went home the first night? Listen, I'm just going to say, why are you going to put somebody out there that had that was on one night? I, I get it. He His body is fine. Why couldn't you put Tanner? Come on. Is Tanner just going to die off like that? That's bullshit. Um, Kat with a K from Zach Season showed up and Brooklyn is pissed, pissed. She's going to, once again, she's, she mentions lacing them up. 
That's that's so stupid. Um, Sam from Clayton Season. Clayton Season arrives. Nobody remembers her, including Jesse. He's like, who are you? She was the woman that showed up in a bathtub, went in um, to the cocktail party and just self-eliminated herself before anything. Rachel knows her, but nobody else knows her. Um, Aaron B. and Eliza are hitting it off. They have a conversation, a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Olivia arrives. She's from Zach's season. And immediately, Will is in love. Like, Will's like, oh, oh you know. And she likes him, too. So, she went straight to him. They were having this conversation that resulted in the first makeout session of, of the night. But it was kind of disgusting because if anybody knows me, you know, I... I hate toes. I, the thought of somebody putting somebody's toes in somebody's mouth grosses me out to no end. It was all about toe sucking, kissing. So they have a connection. Remember that. Sean's talking about how he would like to meet Jess. She comes down the step. Here's Jess. Uh, they're talking about how they're both Taylor Swift fans because he saw that she went to the Eras Tour concert and... Then once again, the producers do him dirty by putting there, not an actual Taylor Swift fan. She thinks he's cute. She wants to explore. But wait a minute. Blake comes next. The ladies lose their mind, as almost do I. Listen, the, I'm saying this is the last time, but his body is the, woo, his body is fine. So Jesse meets up with group, talks to them. Talks about how there's so many successes on the beach. Listen, don't do it again. Please don't bring on another couple that they that is married that is Bachelor Nation royalty. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Um, so listen, there's there's eleven men, there's seven women. Four women are going home, the men are handing out the roses. Um the women are talking. Both Rachel and Jess talk to Sean. Rachel says, I'm interested in him. Kylie mentions that she likes Will. Olivia says, well, we kissed. Okay, conundrum because date card shows up. It's for Kylie. It's her choice. Who's she going to pick? She says she, she doesn't want to get... She doesn't want to get Olivia mad. She doesn't want to be in a love triangle. She doesn't want to do any of this. Who does she pick? She picks Will. Now listen, Olivia is pissed and she's like, game on. I feel disrespected. He could have, Will could have pulled me aside and told me, listen, I'm thinking about going on this. I think about going on this date, but he doesn't. So, and once again, Kylie's like, I don't want to cause any drama. But you still picked him. Bullshit. They go on their date. And good for him that he fell in the lake. He's trying to pull her, pull her chair out. And he fell right in the lake. Now, on this date, um, everything is going very well. Will says, it, Kylie's like, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Please, if they mention toes again, I'm going to throw up. She, he, she says, I don't want to step on any, anybody's toes. He's like, you're not. Trust me, you are not. Yes, I had a conversation with her, but our conversation was deeper. I value the connection between us more. And, oh, suddenly there's, ever, there's fireworks for both of them. Suddenly, he's the one that she is the real deal. He's the real deal for me. He's the real deal. What about Avon? Listen, Olivia says it later. A what you call is just a placeholder. Will's a placeholder until Avon gets there. Um, back on the beach, Brayden is Brayden's kind of crying it up a little bit to Wells, talking about how. He didn't get chosen by Kylie. He wants to feel chosen. Will Wells is like, shut the fuck up. Get out on the beach. Get somebody. Get it. He talks with Kat, with Kay, who we find out her favorite color is, is beige. 
No shade if your favorite color is beige, but it's beige. Um, they have a big makeout. They have a big makeout session. Um, one kiss, he can see himself with her for the rest of his life. I doubt that. So time is ticking away. New couples abound. Um, most surprising for me was Rachel and Sean. Um, I don't think this is going to last. And unpopular opinion, probably. I think she's desperate for a rose. I think she just paired up with anybody to stay on the beach because she was like, this is going to be embarrassing if it's my third strike and I'm out. And this is going to be embarrassing. Um, another surprising couple that I kind of actually like is Jess and Blake. I think he's a nice guy. And I, and I really, I really like Jess a lot. Um, Aaron S and Samantha and Aaron B and Mercedes kissed, but he's also talking to Eliza a little bit later on in the pool. And in previews, it looks like he's with Eliza. So we'll see. Um, and the consensus on the beach amongst the men is that Will disrespected Olivia because he did not pull her aside before going on the date and talk to her. That's the consensus. And I kind of agree. That's a consensus, it seems like, amongst the men. Um, Will tries to talk to, Will does talk to Olivia. Uh, before that, they, before that, they say, um, I feel bad. Kylie says, I feel bad for what I did for, to, um, to Olivia. You don't feel bad. Listen, you do not feel bad. Because later on, she's like, I'm so happy with you. You don't feel bad. I get it that you can have two, that you can have two differing emotions. I don't know that she really, that that's genuine, that she feels bad for her. Um, so Will and Olivia talk straight from Jump, Jump Street. Olivia's like very cold towards him. I don't blame her. So he comes in hot saying that he wants to address this out of respect. And go, really? You want to now say that you want to show some respect. You couldn't have, you could, so you couldn't come to her beforehand and say, and give her a heads up on this. You couldn't do that. And he's really surprised that she feels disrespected. Bullshit. Mm -mm. And he then also says that he feels like he didn't owe her a conversation because they just kissed. Um, and their, their conversation wasn't as deep as the conversation between him and Kylie. So he didn't really owe her anything. And she was like, I felt bad for her. She was like, you grabbed my face and you kissed me. I thought that was something, but apparently it wasn't. He's an asshole. So tell us how you feel, Deb. Um, and then they, they, they break it off. Kylie is like, listen, she or Olivia is like, Kylie is riding the Will wave for right now until Avon arrives. She's like, I was going to tell Will that she's really into Avon, but I didn't want to, and I didn't. So she's like, I can't wait until Avon arrives. This is going to be great. So who is coming down the steps? Who is coming down the steps next? But that's right, kids. Avon! Avon from Rachel's season is coming down the steps. This is going to be, this is going to be weird because he went far on Rachel's season for Rachel. And these two women are going to catch feelings for him. And that's Olivia and Kylie. It looks like Avon gets a date card. He picks Olivia. Oh, and she's like, I'm going to steal your man just like you stole my man. Lady Karma's sweet. So there was no elimination this week, but I swear to God, listen, Christmas on a cracker, baby. Jesus, I can't wait until next week. Oh, bam, bam. So please, this, this video probably went kind of long. Um, it was a jam-packed night. It's going to get better. It's only going to get better. This looks like an amazing season. I cannot wait. So if you watched it, please let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode. Um, who do you think's gonna last? Who do you think's not gonna last? And who do you like? Who do you not like? And <laughs> with that being said, if nobody told you yet today, I love you, your love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, 
acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. And um, stay safe wherever you're at. I'm going to go get this mess taken care of today. So, Tony, if you're watching this, I will see you later. And everybody else, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.